Hi, I'm Katrina Tulloch, and I'm here with David Valentine. He is a senior, and he is a member of the steering committee for next year's uh, Year of Global Citizenship. And he also co-wrote the proposal for this year. So thank you so much for joining us. Sure thing. And I would like to first ask you how the college, or at least the steering committee, came to this decision of global citizenship. Well, um, to my knowledge, each year the way that the yearly theme works is that a group of people will get together and write a proposal for it, and then there are a number of proposals that then the um, the College Events Committee, I don't know what it's exactly called, will look through and they'll decide the best one based on the situation of the college and where we want to go and things. And so this year, last October, I was at a conference in Minneapolis for the American Association of Colleges and Universities, which is like the longest word ever. <laughs> but um, there was a session there on democracy mm -hmm. and we were sitting there and I was sitting there with Ginny Templin, who's a, the other co-writer of the proposal, or co-writer of the proposal. and. Um, I was thinking like, you know, so we, we could do something like this. They were sort of talking about like global democracy and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was like, why don't we do global citizenship? And then on the elevator ride down, I mentioned it to Ginny. And she was like, yeah. So then like on the plane ride back, we wrote it all up. Then when we got back, I wrote up the proposal based on our outline and things. And we presented it to the committee and they liked it the best, I guess. So that's how it happened. Do and then we had to get Professor Mariachi, who's our faculty advisor on board, and a number of other students to have enough people to actually get it going. So um, in other words, this is kind of your idea. I mean, sort <laughs> of. I, I, I don't, like, it's evolved over time. So mm -hmm. I think it's the idea of, like, all the people that have been involved since mm -hmm. that point. It started on an elevator ride. It that's did, yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So that's how you got involved. Mm -hmm. And Ginny mm -hmm. was at the conference with you, too. Yes. Do you know what some of the other proposals for next year's theme were? The only other one that I can think of was one based around Meadville. Mm -hmm. And so I actually really liked that theme. Whenever I learned that was sort of like what we were up against, I felt bad because that's a good theme too. Mm -hmm. And we're sort of taking it in the opposite direction in many people's eyes and sort of looking away from Meadville. And that's not what we want to do. We want to yeah. sort of incorporate the idea of like, you know, you can be a citizen of Meadville, but you're also a citizen of the larger world. And how do those two, you know, um, facets of your life, how do they interrelate and how can they interconnect with each other? That's a big part of what the year is about. Mm -hmm. And so I'm hoping that ultimately what happens is that this theme will sort of bring that other proposal about Meadville in, into, you know, the college too, and we'll sort of get both going Excellent. simultaneously, which could work out. I'm hoping it does. That could but, work out. Yeah. So um, is the event scheduled for next year finalized? Some of them are. Okay. Um, our keynote speaker for the fall is Sonia Nazario, mm -hmm. who is a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist for her book Enrique's Journey, which came from a series of articles she wrote, and I forget which newspaper they were in, about this boy who came from Mexico to find his mother in America. And it's just like this beautiful, like heartfelt story. And we're hoping that some of the freshman seminars this year will read that book as part of the curriculum to sort Excellent. of give some, some of the freshmen, or most of them hopefully, sort of this common experience that then they can take into the year and get them more excited about global citizenship and that sort of thing. Now it seems like they, they sort of did that for the year of social change, like with um, Kathy Alden's book and yes. pretty much her journey. Yeah, okay. it's similar, it's similar. And then um, for family weekend in the fall, which is I think in late September, we are having um, this really famous African singer come. I, I cannot remember her name, Angelique Kudo. Kudo. She's this really famous, wonderful African singer. Um, she has really interesting work. And so she's coming for family weekend. We worked with the um, public events committee on that mm -hmm. to sort of get something intellectual and entertaining and something about global citizenship altogether, which can be pretty dif difficult to do actually. But um, it worked out. So those are the two big events for the fall. Mm -hmm. And then in the spring, we're still sort of up in the air between a number of people because definitely what's happening is that late in the semester, there's going to be this big conference on global citizenship. A few years ago, a group of faculty members um, did a conference on examining whiteness, which sort of looked at racial tensions in America and contemporary America and sort of historically how did it come to this. And that was a really cool interdisciplinary conference. And they want to do that again this year around global citizenship, which will be really cool because they get big speakers on that and schools from all around this area of the country come through and they'll present things. And it's a really, really good experience if Excellent. it's going to be anything like the last one. And I think it will. Mm -hmm. And then we're also hoping to get somebody for the first half of the semester. Mm -hmm. And our top choice at this point in time is Jeffrey Sachs, who's sort of the world's leading economist mm -hmm. on developing countries and things like that. Yes. And sort of how can you in America help, you know, Haiti, for instance, right now, um, redevelop itself and then sustain that development on their own. So he's really big into that, which is a big part of what global citizenship is about. Again, it's sort of how mm -hmm. are you connected to people around the world, of course. And then um, we're also looking at a few other people. George Borjas, who is another very famous, um, he's an academic from Harvard. He looks at immigration. So that would sort of be on along the same lines as Sonia Nazario in the fall, and that's why he's our second choice. We don't want to do the same sort of thing each sure. semester. But um, 
those are two of our, our big options for this spring. Hopefully, Jeffrey Sachs, hopefully we'll hear from him soon because we'd like to get him on the official calendar as soon as we can if he's coming. I feel like I read somewhere that he's, I don't know, one of the 100 most influential people. Yes, twice people. in a row in time. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's he's a, he's a, he's a big, a big guy. deal. So yeah. with all these uh, bigger, um, more, more well-known people coming, mm -hmm. do you have any idea of the projected costs of bringing them the to the college? The cost will be significantly lower really? than the year of social change because mm -hmm. That, the year of social change has been incredible, but it was very, very expensive to bring the speakers that they brought, and we can't mm -hmm. do that sort of massive budget year after year after year. It just isn't mm -hmm. sustainable for the college, and it's the cost versus benefit probably wouldn't hold up in the long run anyway. And so basically what we're trying to do now is look at speakers like, like Jeffrey Sachs, who is an academic you know, at heart really, and so his costs are lower, and yet he's also this extraordinarily famous, very important person with very good ideas that he can present to campus um, so we're sort of redirecting the kinds of speakers that we're looking at for this year. And the yearly themes are only three years old. So we're still yes. sort of looking at how can we best serve the community of Allegheny and, and the larger community through the efforts that we do. And so it's an, it's an evolving process. Um, the year of health tried something, the year of social change tried something, and each year it builds upon itself, I think. So we're going to try something a little bit different to see how it works next year. In your personal opinion, do you think that there were any major mistakes that maybe the, the year of social change or year of health might have done that you really want for next year the college to fix or become better um, at? I don't know about mistakes. Mm -hmm. I know that the year of health was the first yearly theme that we had and so a lot of people didn't know about it and so its publication needed to be much more than it was. Mm -hmm. um, even though it was publicized pretty well I think because nobody had a clue what it was it needed to be really like pushed onto people. Whereas the year of social change did something really good with getting students on board and getting as many student organizations and groups on board as possible so that there's sort of this grassroots development of the yearly theme from students rather than top down from the faculty and the administration. Mm -hmm. And we're really hoping to push that even further next year um, in terms of rather than four keynote speakers, we have one each semester and then sort of like a different thing, the singer in the fall and then the conference in the spring. And then the rest of it, we really, really want to be driven by the students. We want, you know, um, if, if the television channel can do something on global citizenship next year, that would be great. If the campus can publish things, we want people to want to get excited about it. And so this year we've done a lot of preliminary work in sending out personalized letters to the presidents of all the organizations and, mm -hmm. and having um, Jamie Havens, the vice president of ASG next year, talk to them all at the executives round table each, each month, um, sort of promoting global citizenship and being like, we're doing this next year. We can't offer you that much more money because, like I said, we're sort of watching our budget this year. Sure. But sort of letting them know that if you have anything that fits into this, let us know. We'll put it on the calendar. We'll publicize it for you, and it'll help both of us. Now, do you get a sense from the student body in regards to the year of global citizenship? Mm -hmm. Just are they enthusiastic, apathetic? Do they know? I think some people still don't know, but I think a lot of people do. And mostly I've heard really good um, things about it. People seem to be really excited about it. We've had dozens of people actually ask the steering committee members at one point or another like how can I get more involved how can I help and so we're looking at some possibilities in terms of involving more people because the steering committee has about six or seven people on it and it'd be nice to have more people to help out but um, you don't want to have so many people in the same areas that that ideas just get jumbled and stuff mm -hmm. and so we're looking at forming subcommittees and we're looking at sort of can we tag team with a particular organization for them to sort of be sort of not the distribution center but sort of like a really good organizational um, group of people for the year. So we're looking at various avenues for people to get more involved. There's mm -hmm. a few options that we have. But people seem to be really excited. We've had a lot of interest, a lot of people wanting to get more involved. But you're not going to be here next and year. I'm not going to be here to see, to see it. That's my, biggest, that's my biggest regret. That Where are you off to in the fall? Um, the med summer? school somewhere. I haven't decided mm -hmm. yet. I have a few options but somewhere along the east coast. I'm, I'm still deciding. Wonderful. But well, we're running out of time, but we want to thank you so much for coming yeah, in and talking a bit. Me. Thank you so much. And back to you.